Hi. Um, the title of this book is a bit misleading. It's by Malcolm C. Hobart. Badges and uniforms of the Royal Air Force. Now I don't know why it says uniforms because it's just about badges and insignia. It's the best book that I've found on badges and insignia of the RAF. It starts with the Royal Flying Corps, goes through to the RAF. It covers about 1918 to the 1960s. There's a lot of post-war stuff in it. There's a lot of the offshoot in it of uh, various naval air related stuff. There's also the Civil Air Guard some civilian organisations that were impressed in the area. Really good book. It was published in, in, I'll get this right, it was published in the year 2000, so all the first editions of 2000, they're all hardback for the dust jacket, published in 1995. Because people quickly bought them, the price started to go up. Now, I think some people ask 35, 40 pounds for the same book. I've a search around on eBay. I can highly recommend it if you're into RAF badges. Don't be misled by the title. Badges and uniforms of the Royal Air Force. It's got nothing to do with uniforms at all. There's no uniforms in it. It's all insignia. Um, it does have a couple of mistakes in it. Um, but the illustrations are very well done. A lot of colour illustrations in it. A lot of technical details when the badge, badge was introduced, what it was for. As I say, it starts off with the inception inception of the Royal Flying Corps and then it goes through the, to the post-war and modern stuff so it really is a one-stop shop for RAF insignia so we'll put it on the chair and we'll have a look through it um, it's one of those books that you'd want to dip into from time to time it's not a, a book that you'll read from cover to cover badges of the Royal Air Force or of the Royal Air Force it says uniforms but ignore that and it contains Royal Flying Corps, Early RAF, Officers under the ranks, Service Dress, Full Dress, Mess Dress, Bands and Regiment, Service Dress Badges, Aircrew Badges, Distinction Trade Badges, Miscellaneous Badges, Reserve and Auxiliary Service, Civil Guard, University Air Squadrons, Air Transport Auxiliary, Ferry Command, Cadet Forces, the Royal Observer Corps. And it basically has a potted history, Royal Flying Corps. Then it starts off with the badges tells you what they are it is very very well illustrated and it goes through the Royal Air Force all the trade badges the cap badge when it was introduced ceremonial mess dress all the ceremonial stuff rank badges and as you can see there's quite a fair lot of post-war Queen's Crown stuff it is really a good book to keep an eye out for everything you need to know trade badges, chaplain PTI badges skillet arms badges para wings however when it gets to here this is where I've got a problem works and buildings cap badge now it says here that that's a cap badge it actually isn't that is the collar badge as we now know so this area of the book is a mistake the works and buildings collar badge has two lugs on it which you can clearly see one two two lugs the cap badge has a straight slider coming down the back so that is a collar badge it says here that the collar badge is described as that but it's a quarter of the size it actually isn't the collar badge is the same size as the cap badge but the collar badge has two lugs the cap badge has a slider so this information is wrong and it carries on through the apprentices stuff RAF police so it is a really good book and it has the post-war stuff in it air training corps chaplains again air training auxiliary volunteer reserves so it is a really good book to keep an eye out for badges and uniforms of the Royal Air Force by Malcolm C Hobart well worth having it's a one-stop item for your RAF insignia so bye for now